this is me back at home I'm gonna shoot off to the park which I recorded earlier for the intro and then I'll come back here <laughs> hi it's midnight meal I'm taking this shot because I think it looks a bit like I'm green screened at least on my phone it does <laughs> it looks quite fake uh, anyway I'm in uh, I'm in the bandstand in the local park hopefully if I swing round it'll look an awful lot less green screen and I can assure you it's not it's not green screen at all anyway I was hoping to walk around today and shoot some thoughts about health and oh and uh, general medical things I guess and how I perceive them because it may be useful to either some Aspies out there or else some people have to live with Aspies uh, but then I've not got my mic with me well, I've, I used to have a, a phone mic thing but I think I threw it away because it was no good I've tried a couple of other things but I think what I do is probably record the sound back at home and then just keep putting videos on that I took while I was out walking so this is in Queen's Park which is in Crewe which is like this might be about a mile and a half from where I live so hopefully there's no stalkers out there <laughs> but if you want to stalk someone you could find someone much better than me to stalk all right then okay so hopefully this is me back here now uh, so hopefully as I may have explained in that shot depends how I cut it what I was hoping to do was to be because I got a day off there I took a day's holiday I was supposed to meet up with a friend but uh, we had to postpone it so I kept the holiday from work and I thought I'd walk around the local park take some videos and talk about health I was going to talk actually about coronavirus because I had it in beginning December but then I thought I'll oh, just widen it to general health things and this is health things as seen by an Aspie how I perceive things which some of you Aspies out there may this may resonate with you you may see things the same way and for some of you it may be different so what I'm hopefully going to do is I'll be nattering away but then also maybe showing bits of completely unrelated video at the same time to make it slightly more interesting. Health, I thought, this, as I said, this was originally going to be about coronavirus but I'm going to leave that to the end of the video I think because it's such a divisive topic at the moment to do with the injections and everything. So um, I don't like medical stuff much personally I don't like watching medical programs my wife does but I it bores me to tears and I don't like it I, I got no interest in that sort of things I'm interested in lots of things I can talk about lots of things but when it comes to like surgery and stuff I really don't like it but um, what does help me like on occasions on many occasions I've been to the dentist for different things and they've had to operate I say operate on me they they drill holes in my teeth and sometimes take teeth out etc but what helps me because I really hate going to the dentist because the injection hurts to numb it and then sometimes when they're doing stuff to a tooth they hit a nerve and it hurts but what helps me a bit psychologically is if I know what they're doing so I I've now learned to say to the dentist before they start drilling can you tell me exactly what you're going to do and they spend several seconds saying going to do this this drill a hole here put this filler thing in and I say I'm and can you tell me what stage you're at as you're doing it just because it helps me and generally they do and it, it does help the worst thing for me is if I'm just in the chair and this would have happened in the past and they're just drilling away and I can feel everything and sometimes smell it and feel it and I don't actually know what's going on no idea how long it's going to take so again sometimes I might say can you give me an indication of the time left they might say oh, I've got another two minutes doing this bit now so it's only a small thing but what really helps me is knowing what's going to go on and if if I had to go in for a medical procedure or one was recommended I would want to know the odds of it being successful of being unsuccessful what happened if it didn't if I didn't get to do it so that was a bit of a ramble wasn't it I I have broken a bone before but it was only in my hand that's just because I punched my brother in the head but that was that was, that was a game of football I was in goal he went to head the ball I went to punch the ball and I punched him instead um, but anyway that was I don't know why I'm even saying that's <laughs> a bit of a silly thing so general health I am I was fattest 10 years ago fatter than I am now but I am currently like a couple of stone overweight so I do need to lose weight and from the 1st of February I'm planning to go on a diet just a simple calorie counting diet that's what I find 
works best for me because I did it years ago and it's the best diet I've tried where I managed to get the weight off over the course of a year and a half and I managed to keep it off for ages and then eventually I was gradually putting it back on and then with the lockdown it's just so easy to eat rubbish that I find in the house and putting weight on. I'm probably exercising a bit less too because I used to at work at least sometimes walk to the shop that was five minutes away at lunchtime and get some lunch whereas now I just have to walk downstairs so I need to make a conscious effort to go out and do a bit of exercise. When I lived in Edinburgh I that's when I was at my fattest I was like 15 stone and I would sometimes think oh I need to lose some weight so I'd go running we were near Arthur's seat so I might run around Arthur's seat before work so it was, I don't know about three four mile run up and down the hill of Arthur's seat but I'm still as fat as anything and what I've learned over my time of trying different diets and losing weight and getting more fit is what I eat has way more effect on how fat I am compared to exercise now it's good to exercise and I should do some exercise and I think it's enough for me to just walk if I walked a mile or two every day that probably be fine but I really need to watch what I eat but this isn't just about diet it's about uh getting fit i want to talk about a bit well i don't want to talk about getting fit much at all um all this came about because of the coronavirus and i said the coronavirus would be at the end but something i was aware of when i had uh covid19 i think it's the delta variant i had by the way was supposing i get it again in a year we don't know how long the immunity is going to last with the natural immunity and everything but i want to be in a better fitter physical state so if I'm thinking I may get it again let's say next autumn winter I want to be physically fitter and healthier then than I was this December when I got it so uh, that's a goal that's something else I was going to say having a goal I find having a reason to diet is much better than just dieting so if if you want to lose weight and your goal is to lose weight I think it's really hard to lose weight but if you want to lose weight because by the autumn so for me by the autumn i want to be say a stone at least lighter and maybe better run a bit that's the goal you might have a goal of by a certain event you want to lose weight i'd find that difficult for myself because it's that sounds like it's for somebody else's benefit and i wouldn't really care about what somebody else thought about the way i look so i'm not doing this for anyone else it's just for my own health i guess it's partly for other people because it'd be nice for the kids if i'm still around for a bit longer and I don't want something bad to happen with the old COVID. <laughs> well done to anyone who got this far. <laughs> you know what Aspies can be like. We can get distracted. Um, that video went on for like over another half an hour. And I was rambling an awful lot. And I thought, yeah, this isn't that useful actually. So uh, I'm going to cut it there. Cut it short. And I'm... Oh, you see there's a shiny light it's because it's later in the day now because it takes a long time to do these things and put them together and the lights the lights on me give me a shiny head because i haven't got much hair up there now so if i put this hat on it's hopefully not quite so much of a distraction and everything seems normal again so thank you for watching <laughs> i hope there's something useful i'm sure i was going to say an awful lot more about an awful lot more things uh uh yeah i i think i'm going to stop there um, thank you and I hope I get to put another video out one day before too long.